Hello and welcome. This is Michelle with Paper Stamp Inc. Thanks for stopping by my channel today where you receive tips, techniques, and tutorials to inspire you in your own paper crafting projects. Now if that sounds like something that you would enjoy, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, ring the bell, and you'll get notifications whenever I post new videos. Today I want to share with you an encouragement card and this is a very quick and easy card to put together, but yet it looks spectacular. So let's go ahead and grab our paper stamp and ink and get started. So for paper, I have grabbed a standard base. This is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter to form my base. I have a piece of our Blackberry Bliss cardstock that is trimmed down to four by five and a quarter to get a nice matting there. I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock that I have uh, for our stamping of our sentiment. And then I have some of this uh, new paper that's coming out in the Occasions catalog, the beautifully detailed laser cut specialty paper. And just look at the intricate details on there. So it's a little scraps out of the way. So this paper has two sides. There is petal pink and the opposite side is white. I'm going to keep it on the petal pink because I think that's going to be a little bit easier for you to see. And I just want to um, share a tip. We'll go ahead and cut this down on camera because I wanted to share with you when you're cutting this very thin, I mean this is super thin and detailed intricate paper, you want to be careful with your cutting. Now you could go ahead and just cut with some scissors straight down because they are straight lines. Um, if you want to use your trimmer though, Make sure you're lining up with those grooves where you want the, the trim to go. And instead of starting your blade at the bottom or the top and running down, we're going to drop our blade right in the middle, push down, and go up. And I'm going to hold this really nice and tight and go down. That way our paper is not going to want to pull and tear instead of cut. So keep that in mind with the, these papers. I'm going to set these aside and show you this gorgeous paper. Now you get eight panels of this paper. You get four of these that are designed for um, what I would say primarily designed for cards or matting smaller photos. And so you get six panels that are card size on there. You get these border pieces which you could cut out and run as a border or you could use that whole strip as one long border. And then you've got this long border which is a full 12 by 12. So lots of options with these. You get four of these panels and then you get four of these other panels. Oops. That are full panels. So these would be great for scrapbooks, but you can also definitely trim these down. You know, take a take a corner off, put it in the corner of a card. Um, you know, there's lots of options. You can even cut pieces out individually to scroll along your card. So I'll be sharing some um, of those ideas. I do want to tell you, make sure you do keep the tissue paper between the separate sheets. You might notice some of these are, are pulling up on me here. I did not do that. And because of all the detailed cuts, these want to kind of hook together with each other. So you got to be careful um, where you're laying them and that they don't get intertwined or you're going to be fighting with them. So there's our paper, our stamps. We're going to use one of the new stamp sets coming out in the Occasions catalog. This is, I think, a wonderful stamp set. It's got some great Mother's Day sentiments, and at first that's all I saw. But then when I started looking at it, I realized these have got some amazing encouragement sentiments. So these are going to be great to send to um, not just women in your life, but other friends. You know, I mean, you can send these to your kids. You have what it takes to be unstoppable. I couldn't be more proud. Um, that's doesn't have to be to a, a female. Um, thank you for always being there for me. You're amazing and that's a fact. So yes, there are some Mother's Day sentiments. There are some that are, you know, specifically to women, to the woman who does it all with grace and wisdom, but there are some great universal stamps in here and we can all use encouragement from time to time. So that's what I'm doing is I'm making today a few cards of encouragement. So I wanted to share this with you. I was in the mode of making all these cards. We're also going to use the stitch shapes and I'm just using one of the ovals, the second to the largest oval to cut out that sentiment. And then for ink, 
I'm going to use the Blackberry Bliss because it's going to coordinate beautifully with our cardstock. That's one of my favorite things with Stampin' Up! The quality of the products and then the color coordination. It just makes it so much easier when I get in my craft room to know that everything is going to go together beautifully. So, let's see, I have these two pieces and I think I might try, um, I think I might try using the uh, frame and doing this one landscaped this time. So let's jump in there and I'm going to grab my trusty Tombow Mono Multi. This is my glue of choice. I do sell this in my online store. I'd appreciate it if you would support me by looking at my online store and making purchases. It does help me to continue to produce videos and purchase the prop products, <coughs> excuse me, and give you inspiration and ideas and tutorials. So if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you'd like to get a copy of the Occasions and Celebration Catalog, which are coming out here at the first part of January, January 3rd to be specific, please let me know and I'd be happy to send one to you in the mail. You can request one by sending me an email at uh, paperstampinc at gmail.com. Now, I've lost my silicone mat, so, <laughs> so you know what? I'm just going to take one of these pieces that uh, came with my die set, the wrappers, and use that so I can spread my Tombow Mono Multi out on there, clean it up easily afterwards. I'm using one of our sponges cut down into quarters. These are great for sponging on ink to get color backgrounds and shading, but they also make great, um, great uh, daubers for the glue is when you're doing these detailed items because to try and get the glue specifically on all of these little pieces using the tip of the glue um, is going to be very very difficult so I've cut that into quarters and then I've used a binder clip I took off the little prongs just make it a little bit easier to hold and I'm going to dab on and we're just going to go around and give this a coating I'm making sure I keep my paper on this matting too, so I can just wipe that down very easily after we're done here. All right, so there we go. I'm going to bring this back over. And, well, we're going <laughs> to we're gonna do that again because, I don't know, what do you guys think? The petal pink... I don't think I like that petal pink on there. Maybe somebody's going, that's gorgeous together. I Make sure you, you do ink on the back of your, put the glue on the back of your paper. So we're going to switch modes and I'm going to go with this piece. I almost did it again. Let's flip it over. Dab our glue on. Sorry if I'm bouncing you guys around a little bit there. I've got a, a new camera mount on its way. It'll probably be another week or so before it gets here. I'm anxious to see if I can uh, get a little bit better set up so that I don't get that bouncing. Make you guys a little seasick. All right, so we're going to come in here and line this up. Stick that down. Let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment. I just want you to see how beautifully this stamps. I'll pick that up so I don't bounce you. So this just comes out very clean and clear. That you are like a diamond. So I have already gone ahead and pre-cut one though so that we can move along a little quicker. I've got some dimensionals. And I tend to probably go a little overboard on my dimensionals. You really don't need this many, but I do love my dimensionals. They just add that little extra touch. You do keep in mind when you're adding things like dimensionals, and we're going to be um, adding some bling here, that those cards are probably going to be have, have to be um, hand canceled through the mail just because they won't go through the machines so well. So we're going to put that right there, right in the middle. And then I'm going to 
bring some of my basic jewels in it in and I'm going to use the clear rhinestone and I'm using my take a pick tool to help me get that let's see right there right in the middle and there we are we are done if you wanted to um, go ahead and stamp something on the inside you're free to but I'm going to do a bunch of these up so I have them on hand to send to my friends when they're just needing a little bit of encouragement I hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you're not familiar with Celebration, keep tuned in. You can follow me on Facebook at Paper Stamp Inc. or at my webpage, which I'll, I'll link below. There's going to be some great deals, opportunities for free products. I hope you enjoy and keep creating.